In this video, I show you how to remove a background from an image in Photopea. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Here's the image which I want to go and move the background of. So the first thing you need to do is go to the right hand side and go and look in layers. And what you need to do is make sure the image that you want to go remove the background of isn't locked. As you can see, if it's locked, you'll have a padlock next to it, like this background layer. And on another note, make sure that it is not the background layer as well. If it is, just go and unlock it like so. Then what you need to do is go over to the left hand side. And as you can see, we've got this selection tool. If you're struggling to find the magic wand tool, then just go and press W on your keyboard and it's going to automatically select it. And then hold your left click on this tool here. And then what you want to do is go and select object selection like this. Then what we need to do is this is going to go and create a square and you need to go and get the object inside of the square. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to start by holding my left click here and then dragging all around the image like so. As you can see, it says the cross should be fully in the object as well, which is important. So that is just perfect. Then I'm going to go and let go like so. After you let go, it's then going to try and detect the image. Now in this case, it's done quite a bad job and it's missed out my jumper and fingers. So then all you need to do is go and tap on select subject like this, and that should go and improve it. And then once you've done that, you need to go and tap on refine edge, just like this. And with refine edge, what we can then do is go and add or remove parts of the image. So let's go and start here. As you can see, we can go and compare it, which is really useful. So over here, we've got this little bit of um, sort of box behind me, which I want to go and uh, make sure is removed. So then what I'm going to do is zoom in out using my mouse wheel. And then I want to come to these top colors here. So what you can do is go and select foreground and background. So I'm going to go and tap on background and make the brush a bit smaller by tapping on the brush size. You can reduce this all the way down to something quite small. And then what I'm going to do is I'll make it a bit bigger. Then I just want to go and make sure this is all removed just like this, as I don't want it in the image. So let me just get quite precise with this. And then as you can see, it's then going to be reflected on this side as well, which is really useful. So I need to go and make the brush just a little bit smaller so I can get a little bit more specific. And if there's any other parts you think have been missing or has done too much, then you can always go and add them to the foreground. So I could go and add this sort of door or something of just part of the wall to the foreground. And as you can see, it's then going to appear there. Of course, I don't actually want that, so I'll do Control Z. And then all you need to do is keep repeating that. And then once you're happy with it, go to the top right and tap OK. And there we go. We've now gone and got the transparent image. I can now go and move it around and do whatever I want with it. If you guys found this video useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.